you can see other characteristic like the processor. The processor, the, the MacBook works with two, two processors. Um, Windows works with one processor. Uh, so always is better. Always, always. Great, I'm, I'm happy because I'm not, I'm not very good with this. Yes, it's All right, well, we, welcome to the class, Andres and Yasmin. Welcome. Um, how, how does the audio sound? Is the, do you hear the fan or it's okay? The audio, it's, it's a good teacher. Um, Yasmin, are you there? All right. I don't know. I don't know if you are there. But, um, I don't know. Um, just me? Yes. All right. Nice to hear you. Is it raining and Rena? Yes. It's good, right? Oh my gosh, I cannot open my window. Why? I think all, all the all the rain came into my window and I can't open it. Raining in Central? Yeah. Kind kind of hard. It's, it's kind of hard. Yeah. Teacher, we, we have a, a possible hurricane. Really? For yes. when? It's a, it's a storm now, but can, it could be a hurricane. Hurricane. Oh, it can transform to hurricane. Yes. I hope, I hope not, man. But may, maybe it can watch the coronavirus away. <laughs> All right. Well, um, Yasmin, did, did you finish this activity? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, well, let's do it. Let's do it. And and then I'm going to teach you something. Okay, I'm going to teach you something. Two two idioms. Two. Because they're very easy. All right. Um. What are things that are often loose? Yes, me? Door knob. Door knob. Okay. Only door knob. Only door knob, okay. Things that are often have a dent in them. How do you say oh yes? Oh yes, pots. Pots. Oh, that's true. Oh my gosh. All my pots have <laughs> dents and uh, a stain on them. My sneakers. Sneakers. Oh my gosh. A hole in them. And that. And those, oh my god. Yes. Yeah, it's nice. All right. And, well, very good, Yasmin. Thank you. And remember, yesterday, Yasmin, you told me that you wanted to learn some idioms. So I, I was on, I was on the phone with, with my wife before before I got on the FaceTime 
know, on FaceTime or Zoom. And then I asked you, you know, hey, what, what are some good idioms? And maybe, maybe you know these. Tell me, if you know these, tell me and I will tell you some other ones, all right? When it's raining hard, you can say, oh my gosh, it's one button, don't know, I don't know. Oh, here we go. When it's raining hard, like right now it's raining hard, you can say it's raining cats and dogs. Did you know that one, Yasmin? Oh my God. It's a popular word. Yes, it's actually yes. very common. Yes. Now, obviously, it's not raining cats, it's not raining dogs, but because the water is so heavy, you can say it's raining cats and dogs. In fact, there are, I think there's a book called It's Raining Cats and Dogs. It's raining cats and dogs. Right now, in Centro, it's raining cats and dogs. In, in um, Rena, it's raining cats and dogs, or it's soft, light rain? It's, it's what? What'd you say? It's sprinkling, it's a light rain, you know. It, it's sprinkling. Es como llovizna. Exactly, exactly. It's sprinkling. It's raining, it's like normal, and um, it's pouring. This is a very common one for it's raining cats and dogs. That is heavy rain. But what does mean pouring? What does what mean? What does mean pour, pour, pouring? Pouring means it's raining very heavy. But the word pour? Pour. Okay, you know, like if you are at a restaurant, the waiters, they pour the water into your cup or they pour the drink into your cup. Pour. And it's not a lot, it's not a little bit, it's a lot. So that's what it means, it's pouring. Andres, where you're, where you're at, it's sprinkling, it's raining, it's pouring, or it's raining cats and dogs? When, when what, sorry? Where you're at right now in Coloso. Oh, it's pouring. It's pouring. With, with many, uh, how do you say, like mucho aire with a lot of wind oh, oh wind yeah you can say it's very windy very windy yes or there's a lot of wind yasmin are you there yes all right, so look, this next idiom is one of my favorites because it's a, it's a little rude. It's a little rude. It means never, okay? Huh? Where are you? Why do you sound like you're on the street? 
I hear some noise. Aquí. Ah, uh, yes, it was Andres, yes. Okay, yeah, Yasmin, this thing called when, when pigs fly is the same thing to say never, okay? Uh, so imagine there's this boy and he asks you, when will you be my girlfriend, All right? And you can say, when pigs fly, all right? It means never, but it's very rude. It's very rude, cuando los puercos vuelen. So it, it's, it's a very common idiom. You will see it a lot in TV shows and stuff like that. Or for example, Yasmin, when will you get married? I don't say, I don't, I'm not rude, teacher. You're not, you're not a rude person? Come on. When pigs fly. Uh, it, it, it depends, it depends on the context, right? Now, if, if somebody asks you a question, and, and it's a very sensitive question, and you say, when pigs fly, then maybe, it will be rude because you will hurt the person. But if if you want to say that you are very you feel strongly about something, like in your case, the marriage, you don't believe in marriage, is it wouldn't be rude because you feel strong, you feel strongly about it. So when will you get married? When pigs fly. All right. Was if somebody asks me, when will you eat? Moronga again, when pigs fly. Basically, I never want to do that. Never. Right. So, the two idioms, Yasmin. It's raining cats and dogs, when pigs fly. All right. You like it? All right. Well, um, try to remember these. And at the end of the lesson, I'm going to ask you to give me an example for that. Okay, when pigs fly. Tomorrow. Later, when the class is over. All right. But right now, we are on page 70, so please open up your book. What page? Page 70. Today is July 7, 2020. Today is an important day, and I don't know why. Teacher, did you, did you celebrate uh, for, for July? No, 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 no way, no way. <laughs> but did you say, did you celebrate? In, in the 4th of July? Yes. No, no, we, the, the only thing is that, okay, the only people who really like the holiday are white people. They, they are the only people who like the, that holiday. But Mexicans and black people and Puerto Ricans, we, we use that holiday as an excuse to have a party. For your because, work. yeah, exactly, nobody works. So, for example, in, in my family, we don't, we don't care about the United States. We don't care about the independence. We know that the American people are racist. So, you know, usually in my family, we, we say, oh, hey, come to my house. I am going to cook on the grill. I'm going to grill some barbecue, some ribs, hot dogs, hamburgers, tamales. Come to my house and bring a plate. Uh, bring, your, bring some food and we can share the food. We can have a buffet. And maybe for the children, 
we can have some fireworks or something, but we don't care about that. The, the significance of the holidays, I don't, I don't like it. But I, I, I can watch uh, some people with with the uh, USA flag. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> I, I, I would not do that. Mexicans. <laughs> Mexicans with that, with the flag? Yes. What's, what's wrong with La Raza, man? <laughs> la Raza. <laughs> yes. And and the 16th of September, teacher, do you celebrate in you, USA? You, you, oh, in USA? Yes. My family? Yes. Or the, the, the Mexicans? Yeah, I mean, well, it, it's the same thing like here in Mexico, you know, you, you have like, you have fireworks and you have food. Yes, it's, it's the same thing. Yes. I, honestly, I, the only holiday that I really like that is American is Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? Yes. I, I don't like the history. I think the history is very bad. Of Thanksgiving, but the meaning, you know, to give, to give to the people, it, it's very beautiful. I remember me and my family on Thanksgiving, we would go to downtown and, and, and we would give food to the homeless people, you know, the people with that who don't have a house, who don't have a job. And it's, it's a beautiful thing. I, I love that holiday. And you, you, can, you can buy, um, uh, cheap thing. Oh, on Black Friday. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. That's a, that's a cool thing right there. I love Black Friday. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something that I that I never told my students. <laughs> when when it was Black Friday. I I would I would tell my mom, mom, let me borrow the car so I can go to the mall. And she says, You're going to the mall? Like, yes, I'm gonna go shopping for Black Friday. And I, I I will go to my friend's house, pick up two or three of my friends, and, and we will go to another city, a big city like well it's very Oh, uh, like three malls, but big, big malls. And we would go inside the malls and we will buy some things, but really we would steal a lot of things. Oh my God, we were really, really bad kids. I remember, I remember one day I stole um, a hat and uh, pants. I was like 16 years old. I was really bad. I look back and like, oh my gosh, how are you? How are you a teacher? How? <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, w w what is this symbol right here? Centavos? Or uh, I don't know. You don't know? Yasmin, do you know? And that was no. No. I don't know that symbol. That was the letter C with a line in the center. Okay. All right, so this is what we are doing today. Okay, we are speaking in shorter sentences, all right? It, this is funny. It, it's a really, you know, in the beginning, this thing is funny for two reasons. One, there is no grammar, all right? So when you speak, it's like speaking like a little kid, all right? It's, it's like speaking like a little kid and, um, it's very funny because, you know, all your life, 
you know, you learn, you learn the grammar. But today, you have to do the opposite. Don't use grammar because it's bad. And I'm going to show you why. All right. Yasmin, what is the title of this lesson? Ready. Ready. Now, ready. It's okay. I, I understand. Ready. But what is the complete question with ready? Are you ready? Exactly. Are you ready? Um, grammatically, Grammatically, this one is correct. Are you ready? But when you are speaking with a friend, it's okay to say ready. Okay? Are you ready? Ready? But both are correct. In this case, when you are speaking to a friend. So, I don't know. Maybe he lost connection because of the rain. No? I'm sad because... Oh. He speaks a lot. He's fine for me. You like to listen to him? All right. You heard, you heard me? You like to listen to him speak? He speaks a lot. Um, for me, it's fine. It's good. That's, that's what I mean. You like to hear him speak? Yeah. That's good. That's good. And, well, I think this is him. Yes, he's returning, as He's in the later room. There we go. All right. Andres, are you there? I have problem with the electricity teacher. Uh, okay, I, I figured. Sure. So, 1A, conversation strategy, speaking in shorter sentences. Andres, can you read the instructions? Yes. What words? have the speakers left out of this conversation letter a ready want to get something to eat b love to almost ready now listen to kayla and Hector. what are they trying to do are they just useful hold on, hold on, hold on. so look let's look at a and b ready want to get something to eat love to almost ready those sentences are not complete. All right, so what can we do to make those sentences complete? What can we say? What is a complete question for ready? Yasmin already told me. Are you ready? That, that will be the first question, right? To complete it but what about the next one want to get something to eat want to get something to eat what is the complete question do you want to get something to eat do you want to get something to eat exactly that is a complete question Now at B, love to would be, I would love to, I would love to, I would love to. Um, but what is the next one? Almost ready. Almost ready. How are you? I'm not ready. I don't know. No, this one you have to use I. And it's not a question. 
I am almost ready. So, in white, those are the complete questions. Are you ready? Do you want to get something to eat? I would love to. I'm almost ready. Okay. Now, in the white, that is formal. Or it's normal. Formal or normal. Are you ready? Do you want to get something to eat? I would love to. I'm almost ready. And But in black, it goes like this. Ready? Want to get something to eat? Love to. Almost ready. In the black, it's like you're talking to your friend. It's very casual, very informal, right? And you can use this with your close friends and when you understand the context, okay? So now let's listen. Um, this is Kayla. And this is Ekta. All right. Um, what are they doing? They. They're home. They're what? They're home. They're doing their home. Yes, but more specifically, what are they doing? Oh. Where or what? What? What are they doing? Oh. Hmm. How do you say it? Remodelando? Remodelar? Rem Remodeling. Remodeling. They're remodeling? Okay. And uh, oh, what is that thing that they have in their hand? Picture. Picture, right? Picture or painting. Okay. So I, I want you to listen. Listen. This is the question that you need to answer. What are they trying to do? Are they trying to order pizza? Are they trying to fix the refrigerator? Are they trying to adjust the painting? And are they successful? or not. Listen to the conversation, please. Can you hear the audio? No? Thank you. What about now? Sentences. A. Now listen to K. Yes, that's me? Yes. Kayla and Hector. What are they trying to do? Are they successful? Don't have any. Sorry. I love that conversation. Um, wh what are they trying to do? They try to put the 
picture. Yes, they're trying to like, put the picture up, right. All right. And are they successful? Yeah. Yes, they are successful. Excellent, excellent. So, um, look, I, I want you to practice this conversation two times. All right. Yasmin, I am going to put you in the breakout room with Andres. Yes. Not you're here. <laughs> yes. Because I don't have the book, teacher. Oh, you don't have the book. Okay, okay. Well, well, yes, nobody has the book. Okay. Um, Ismail, can you see the conversation? Ismael Caranza, can you see the conversation? Yeah. Yes? Mm -hmm. Right. So please, Ismael, if you are Hector and Yasmin, you are Kayla, practice the conversation just one time. Hi there. Oh, want some help? Sure. Just take the yeah. Got it. Yeah, I think so. Oops, wait a second. Okay, ready. One, two, three, lift. Oh, uh, it's heavy. Oh, uh, just broke a nail. Ouch. You okay? Yeah, but hurry up. Go shut. It's a nurse, right? Want me to fix it better? Yeah. Uh, but where's on the lift? There you go. Done. Thanks. Like it? Love it. It looks good. Really good. Want some coffee? No, thanks. Can't drink it. Go any soda. Sure. Uh huh. Don't have any. So. Right. Very good. Mm -hmm. I, I like I like your beautiful sound expressions. Right now, on this, you are Hector and Ismael Kayla. Andres working. No, I'm here. But I'm not Kayla. This is my Smile, you're Kayla. Oh. <laughs> you're Kayla, you smile. Oh, okay. Uh, hi there. Hi. Run some help? Sure. Just take the, that end. You got it? Yeah, I think so. Ups. Uh, wait a second. Okay, ready? One, two, three, lift. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, just broke a knife. Ouch. You okay? Yeah, but hurry up. There, shoot. It's not straight. Want me to fix it better? Yeah, up, uh, up a bit on the left. There you go, done. 
Thanks. Like it? Like it? Love it. It's look good. Really good. Want some coffee? No, thanks. Can drink it. Good, and it's you. Sure. Uh huh. Don't don't have any something. I don't yeah. see the. I don't the know. Last <laughs> word. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh. Yes. Right. Excellent. Excellent. Um. So. Do you notice that they speak in shorter sentences? Right? What are some examples of short sentences that they say? Sorry. Can you repeat that? Oh, you said got it. Sorry. No, no. Now I, now I understand. Another one? Um, one, some will help. Some help? Want me to fix it? Want me to fix it? All right. What else? Want some coffee? Want some coffee? Can't drink it. Drink. What else? Thanks, like it. Love it. That's all? Love it. Oh, love it. Any more? Don't have any. Up a bit on the left. Up a bit on the left. Yes, better. You okay? Just broke a nail. Think so. Let's see. Um. Well, yeah. I think that's all. Now, this right here is the short conversation. But what do you think would be the long conversation? For example, want some help? The long one would be, do you want some help? Because it's a question, it's in the simple present. Do you want some help? You got it? Would be what? When you do something. It's got it. Do you got it? Do you got it? Yes. And what what is? No, never mind. Think so. Think so. I think so. I think so. Just broke a nail. It's. It's. Not it's. Yeah. <laughs> 
I just broke a nail. I just broke a nail. I just broke a nail. Yes, you okay? Are you okay? Want me to fix it? Do you want me? And what else? It's better. But it's a question, Yasmin. Is it better? Is it better? Yes. And the other one, I will tell you. Put it up a bit on the left. Thanks is like what? What is a longer version? Do you like? Thank you. Do you like it? Want some coffee? Do you want some? Do you want some coffee? Can't drink it. I can't drink it. And got any soda? Do you got any soda? And don't have any. I don't have any. Teacher, can you change the color leather, please? The color what? Leather. The color of the leather. You don't want white? No, I can't see clear. That's going to be a problem. May maybe yellow? Red. Red? Yes. Maybe bigger, no? You want it bigger or no? Oh, it's very white, teacher. <laughs> or Andres. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, I can't change the other ones because, well, they are already written. But uh, let's see. But uh, for the next activity, I will write in red, okay? Okay. But I, I want us to look at, you know, let's compare. Let's compare the questions and the sentences in the conversation and the complete sentences. You know, what is different? For example, want some help? For want some help, they didn't put do you. Do you want some help? Forgot it? They didn't put do you. Again, for think so, they didn't put what? I so it. I just broke a nail again. I. You okay? They forgot what? R. R. Want me to fix it? Do you? Do you? Better? Is it? All 
right? This next one is put it. Thank you. You, do you. Want some coffee? <coughs> do you want, do you? Do you. Bless me. Thank you. And don't have any, we put I. So if you notice, what words do I cancel? Or what words do I leave out? Very common to leave out do, to leave out you, to leave out I, to leave out are, or the verb to be, and to leave out Sometimes, sometimes you can leave out it. Sometimes. Now, remember, this is how you speak to a friend. To a friend, right? Don't speak like this to your boss or, or something formal, no. This is for your friends. All right, I'm going to erase this. All right. Exercise B, rewrite the conversation with shorter sentences. Compare with a partner and practice. So um, I'm gonna help you with the first two lines and then I want you to finish the rest. Yes, yeah, let me read the instructions, please. me uh oh I have a problem to with the connection yes me can you hear me Andres is my can you hear me yes okay Yasmin, I, I think there's a problem with our connection. I can't hear you. Well, um, Andres, can you read the instructions, please? Yes, and um, there be provide yes. conversation with the shorter sentence compare with a partner and practice. Um, well, like I said, I'll, I'm gonna help you with this. Do you need this screwdriver? Well, it's not necessary to put, do you? I could just put need. And I change this N for a capital N. Need the screwdriver and then simply here. All right, and I'm going to put like a little period right here. All right, and number two, thanks. I can't get this off the, sh off the wall. I can just put can't get this shelf off. And I can put a capital 
see. Can't get the shelf off, and then a period. All right, so please finish this exercise by yourself. You have four minutes, four minutes. Remember, leave out do, you, I, be, or wherever you think it's correct. Wherever you think it's correct. All right, well, uh, okay. Hey, Andres, B, Yasmin. Um. Do you want me to try getting it, getting it up? Okay. Nice, nice. That's me. I think Yasmin isn't here either. Well, I'll complete it. Sure. You've got time, Andres? Yes. Yes, okay. Um, it's on? Yes. You need help with anything, anything else? Right. Need, need help with anything else. Thanks. No. Nothing else. I could drink. Um, love one. Got any green tea? Yes, yes. Th that is how you would have a conversation. Okay, so um, let's, let, let's do it together. You are A and I am B. Let's have the normal conversation. I'm A? Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, need this a square driver? Here. Thanks. Thanks. Can't get this shelf off. Do you want me to try getting a needle? Yes. Thanks. Sure you've got time? Okay, done. Need help with anything else? No, nothing else. Like a drink? Love one. Got any guarantee? Nice, nice. Yes. What is your opinion about this type of grammar or conversation? Um, it have a little bit confusion to say. But confusing. Confusing, yes. But it's okay. It's interesting. It's, it's how you talk to a friend Whenever it's you're about at it, the house or anything like that, it's 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 a common conversation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Very common with a friend. Um, I don't know. I, I think you're watching that that sitcom, no? Friends. Sitcom. Yes, the show Friends. Oh yes. Yeah, and that one they have a lot of examples. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. They speak like this a lot. Yes. All right. Are you are you finished with your show Vikings? And um, yes, teacher. Finished um, it. The last week. Two week two week two week ago, I finished. Yeah. It's cool. But, it's cool. 
it's not a good final. <laughs> you didn't like the ending? No. Uh, that, that sucks. Well, um, the next part is, is interesting. It, it, it's not like, it's not like um, words. It's just like sounds. Okay, th these are sounds. Okay, sounds that you make when things go wrong. All right. For example. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oops. Oops. Whoops. Ow. Ow. Ouch. Ugh. Ugh. Yuck. Yuck. Shoot. Shoot. All right. All of these expressions you use them when you have a problem. But it all is like a different type of problem. For example, oh, is when you see a problem, okay? And uh-oh is when you suddenly discover a problem, uh-oh. And oops, when you make a small mistake, okay? When you make a small mistake. Like when you are driving and you hit another car, oops. And um, ow or ouch is when you hurt yourself, okay? Maybe you're at the beach and you step on a rock, ouch. And ugh, ugh, or yuck. It's when something is disgusting. And it, it can be about food, but it's not very common, you know, to say that it's kind of rude. But I, I usually, I usually say these things when the person does something um, disgusting. Oh, you know, like they sneeze in their hands. Achoo. Oh, it's disgusting. Or shoot shoot it's like a general reaction shoot. i didn't know that expression teacher shoot shoot yes it's common. It, yeah but the, the the more common version is is a bad word <laughs> no i'm not talking about with f <laughs> no s h Four letters. It, 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 it sounds like pit. Pit, but it starts with SH. Or sit, but with the H. All right, oh. so. <laughs> okay. Yasmin, be there? All right, could you read the instructions, please? They write the conversation with shorter sentences, compare with a partner, and practice. Where are you? Are you here in this page with us? On page 71? I see the page seven. Yeah. yeah. What page is? Seventy one. Can you see it now? No, I have problem with my computer. Yeah. Seven one. Yeah, 71. 
provide an expression? Yes. Write an expression you can use in each situation, compare as well to your apartment. All right. So if you drop a hammer on your toe, in your foot, you can say, ow, because it hurts, or ouch. All right. That's in English. But what can you say when you miss a call on your cell phone? What did you say? What can you what can you say when you miss a call on your cell phone? Oh. Uh, oh. Oops. Or oops, yes, yes. True, true, true. What do you know? When you spill coffee oh, on the table. You spill coffee on the table. Oops. Oops. Or shoot. Shoot. All right, number four. A friend tells you how she broke her arm. Buck or shoot? Yuck. Oh. Yeah, shoot or ow, yes. I'm thinking about all the words you say in Spanish. In Spanish, it's funny. Uh, what you realize you missed a class. Oops. Andres. Andres always. Yes. Uh, when you put too much sugar in your coffee, you what? When you put too much sugar in your coffee, what do you say? No. Oops. All right. Sounds good to me. Sounds good. And uh, well. Uh, we're going to finish the lesson tomorrow, okay? Now, tell me, in, in this lesson, what did we talk about? What did we discuss? What did we discuss in this lesson? With what? What did we learn in this lesson? Oh, the expressions. When you have a mistake or something like that. All right, all right. Good. And what else? Yes, me. What What are the two idioms that you learn in this class? One big fly. All right. And the other one? It's very fast and big. When and give me an example of one you can use when pigs fly. Um, when return the class 
Yes. When the pig flies. All right, when pigs fly. Don't say the. Just say when pigs fly. All right, excellent, excellent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your homework is page 54 and 55 in the workbook. Okay? Do you have any questions? Oh, it's okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Great. Well, have a nice evening, guys. Enjoy the rain. Relax. Yes. Thank you. Drink a beer. <laughs>